this scene must be familiar to all of us. Whenever we travel by train, we all have seen such trains carrying huge amount of coal from the mines to other parts of the country. Now, just like coal, which is an important mineral, other minerals are also collected from a particular place and then they are distributed across a particular region, a country for that matter. So, where do you think we get these minerals from? In our previous lessons on minerals, we understood that there are different types of minerals and each has its own characteristic. So, the process of obtaining them will also differ, right? In this lesson, we will understand how minerals are obtained. So, minerals are obtained from the earth's crust by the process of mining. So, mining is the process of extraction of minerals from the earth's crust and depending on the type of mineral, there are different types of mining methods used. So, to define mining, we could say that it is the process of extracting minerals from the earth's crust. Now, in our previous lessons, we learned that minerals are generally present in hilly regions or plateau regions. They are considered rich in minerals. So, from these regions, the minerals are extracted by the process of mining. Now, on the type of minerals to be extracted, there are different methods used. So, different minerals have different ways of extraction depending on where they are found while some minerals can be found just at the earth's crust that is right below the topsoil there are certain minerals that are present deep beneath the layers of the earth's crust for that a different type of mining method is used so mining can be either surface mining or underground mining so, the different types of mining may be surface mining or underground mining. So, the surface mining generally includes open cast mining or coring. So, coring also known as open cast mining is the most common method of mining. And on the other hand, we also have an underground mining method that is shaft mining. So, as you can see, there are deep tunnels created with regard to shaft mining. Now, let's learn about each type of mining one at a time. So, surface mining also known as open cast mining is the most common method of mining. In this type of mining, very much risk is involved. Though the mining process is considered cheap and faster as compared to other mining methods. So, surface mining for extraction of coal is cheaper and faster. So, coal is one of the minerals in which surface mining is widely used. Though surface mining is faster and cheaper as compared to other types of mining, it has various risk involved, particularly of landslides. So, during surface mining, we take off the upper layer, the topmost layer of the soil or the rock, due to which the layers lying beneath the topsoil are exposed to further erosion or degradation. Therefore, this type of method mining causes landslides and it also destroys habitats and ecosystems. Now, one of the recent incidents of 2020 was the landslide in a coal mine in Chhattisgarh. So, there was a major landslide in the coal mine in Chhattisgarh where one of the workers of this coal mine got trapped beneath the debris and his life was at risk. Though other workers managed to escape, but it caused a huge damage to the mine and the surrounding area. So, we see that though it is a cheap and fast method, it has various negative impacts with it too. 
as i mentioned coring is a type of surface mining so in this type of mining the extraction of minerals is done directly from the earth's surface and the different minerals that are extracted by this method of mining are limestone marble granite sandstone and clay now other than that the areas where this method of mining is used are called quarries so places where quarrying is done is known as quarries so before we proceed with the lesson could you help me answer this question which method of mining extracts minerals directly from the earth's crust is it drilling is it quarrying or is it shaft mining yes the correct answer is quarrying so quarrying refers to the extraction of minerals directly from the earth's crust now you must have seen such tunnels in the famous temple run game we see such deep and never ending tunnels now this is a similar from the other type of mining that is shaft mining so in shaft mining minerals such as gold diamond and platinum are mined through the process of shaft mining so in shaft mining deep and long tunnels are dug below the earth's crust that is a lot of layers beneath the earth's surface now in this type of mining there are also various risk involved the miners who are working at these mines always have the risk of the mine being collapsed so even this method of mining is widely used for the extraction of precious minerals like gold platinum and diamond however this also has various risk now a very good example of such gold mine is the tawthona mine the tawthona mine is in south africa and it is the world's deepest mine the deepest gold mine on the earth now as i mentioned that there are various risk involved in both the mining method however other than that there are also other negative impacts so toxic substances leach down into the water table how so so here are two pictures that will help us understand why and how these toxic substances leach down into the water table so from the first picture we see that before mining so before the land was disturbed before the land was dug or drilled for the process of mining the top soil had a thick layer now because of this thick layer when the rain water used to seep through the layers of this top soil they used to get filtered one after another so after getting filtered through different layers of the top soil this water when reaches the ground water that is when it reaches the water table it is cleaner and it is drinkable right so the rain water used to get filter because of the thick layer of the top soil and the ground water used to be safe not only for drinking and other purposes but and also for the aquatic animals and plants in the nearby water bodies other than that because of no mining being taking place here the surface runoff used to be only at one side so erosion of the top soil is only happening from one end on the other hand after mining when the land is dug or drilled there are two ways in which the surface runoff is happening so erosion has also increased due to the mining process being taken here other than that because of mining and the mines being created here the top soil has also been reduced to a high extent because of which the different layers that used to help the filtering of the rain water has also decreased because of which the water that now reaches the water table is not as safe as it used to be earlier and it contaminates the existing ground water in the water table now it not only harms the aquatic animals and plants in the nearby water bodies but it also is not safe for drinking 
so we see that mining has various negative impact on not only the environment but also for the people and animals living nearby so because of mining there is a decrease in the ground water depth and natural filtration and there is also increased contamination of the ground water so these are some of the negative impacts of mining other than that as i mentioned earlier mining is one of the most dangerous occupation a man could take up so especially coal mining is dangerous so coal mining is one of the most dangerous mining processes where various risk are involved people have to go beneath the thick layers of the earth surface which could collapse any time so coal mining or rather any mining process is very dangerous for the people working there for the people involved in the process other than that people who are working in such underground mines there are problems of suffocation because of lack of oxygen beneath such thick layers of the earth surface now besides suffocation there are also dangers involved due to the explosions that take place at the different mines other than that the miners or the workers here are also exposed to toxic gases and these are real life threat so mining that is one of the most important processes for the industries and for the overall growth of any nation is also one of the most dangerous occupations a man could take up so mining which is economically and socially significant is also devastating for the nature especially for land and water So in this lesson we understood that the process by which the important minerals are extracted from the earth's crust is called mining. Now depending on the type of minerals to be extracted there are different types of mining methods that are used. Now though mining is economically very important and also socially very important for the country it is also devastating on the nature. so the mining industry needs to be very very careful with regard to the different techniques and technologies it uses in the process it needs to be careful on taking the required measurements so that less of pollution is caused and less of harm is caused to the surrounding environment and also for the people involved in the process Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to all our 5000 plus amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock test get all your doubts resolved instantly learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy it is rewarding too so register for free now